to Steampunk. This is your host, Steampunk Bob. So, Deus Ex. The title is obviously a jab at the crappy writing that tends to pervade video games and relies a lot on Deus Ex Machina, or God from the Machine. Machina is the word there for machine, obviously, and Deus is where we get the word deity, so X must be a Latin article of some sort. Google Translate Powers! Activate! Huh. From God. We're on a mission from God. You are... Well, you can name your character, but no matter what you name him, his name is J.C. Denton. You are a super soldier who hunts terrorists in the future. One thing that makes Deus Ex unique is the fact that, without cheating in any way, you can complete the game with one kill. Exploiting a bug, you can avoid even that one. Aside from the Thief games, I don't really know of any action game that lets you be this merciful. Of course, my pacifism went straight out the window when I got a lightsaber. I tried turning it to stun, but no dice. Company. Still in the air. Not to say the game is flawless. Its B&E skills are very uninvolving, hacking is just a progress bar, the game is ugly as sin, and the lack of expression for characters' faces makes the voice acting seem especially bad. Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb! However, Deus Ex is considered a classic for many good reasons. Nearly any problem has multiple solutions. The story is of a vast scale, but it still feels like the player is making a difference. It's also one of very few action RPG hybrids where you can develop your character however you like and not end up crippled later on. You can focus on B&E and &E, engage on your own terms. You can become so skilled with long arms that shotguns reduce their spread for you. You can walk perfectly silently while being invisible to the human eye and any of these approaches will work for most areas of the game. One surprise the game has in store is that, compared to many contemporary games, it's incredibly long. If you're used to shorter, modern games, you may be better off playing to Hong Kong and then returning later, treating the rest of the game as an expansion pack or a sequel. The story of Deus Ex is a brilliant conspiracy story that sends the player to three different countries and several varied locations, including a cathedral, a couple of military bases, even Area 51. Character improvement is threefold. Skill points, augmentations, and weapon upgrades. You get skill points for completing missions, finding secret areas, and all that wonderful stuff. You can use them to improve your skills with certain categories of weapons, or to make breaking and entering simpler. I personally like playing as the secret agent, who has decided his bosses don't pay him enough, so in the middle of his black ops missions, he stops to hack ATMs and steal money. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. Augmentations are interesting because they are mutually exclusive. Whenever you find an augmentation canister, you have two options to put in one slot. For example, running faster or silencing your footsteps, being invisible to humans, or being invisible to machines. Then you can upgrade your favorites to suit your playstyle. Weapon upgrades are easily the most pedestrian of the three. You find an upgrade and slap it on a gun. You can reduce recoil, reload speed, add scopes, but it's not nearly as awesome as becoming bulletproof, running around at Mach 2, and stabbing people with a lightsaber. This footage was gathered using the shifter mod, which adds in some content that was in the game's code, but must have been cut or was disabled for some reason, as well as a few easter eggs and minor rule tweaks. If you like good stories, good games, or good games with good stories, you should get Deus Ex. Who's there? If the graphics are a problem for you, then you should just get a high-res texture pack. The game is well-loved enough that it has an amazing mod community 
that has made things look beautiful. So, uh, pick it up. It's a steampunk Bob out. My new partner, JC Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. I wear my sunglasses.